community band and community college band. Um, so we both have uh, longtime members uh, that are members of the Shoreline and Greater Community. And we have a few uh, Shoreline Community College students in the band as well. We are so delighted you're here uh, to join us for our spring concert. My name is Dr. Christopher Bongathiamathical, and I am the director of this band in my first year here at Shoreline. And I'm so happy to be working with this group. Uh, we have an exciting program for you tonight that includes a guest soloist who you will meet in a few pieces. Uh, but before that, we're going to play a couple pieces for you. First one is called Boreal Pines by Kate Ishimura. Uh, Kate is a uh, Canadian composer, uh, came on the scene not too long ago, maybe less than five years ago. Uh, this particular piece you will hear kind of commemorates uh, a wildfire up in Alberta of Fort McMurray. There was a big wildfire in 2016. And she kind of wrote the piece to sort of 
remember what happened, uh, but also point out the resiliency of the forests that kind of undergo uh, these constant wildfires and burnings. So that's the first one you'll hear. Uh, the next one you will hear is a piece called Arsenal. It's a march uh, from Europe, written by Jan Anders. So I hope you enjoy these next two pieces, uh, Boreal Pines and Arsenal.
Thank you so much, everyone. Really appreciate your applause and you being here. Uh, okay, so for our next piece, we're gonna play selections from uh, Les Mis. Les Mis are all that's, the, that's my best attempt at pronouncing the French. Uh, so it's a musical. It's based on a book uh, by Victor Hugo uh, from 1862. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with it, basically it's about um, a man named Jean Valjean. I guess I don't want to spoil too much if you haven't read the book, but basically he was a prisoner for stealing a loaf of bread. He went to prison for 20 years. I guess they were really, really harsh back in France back in those days. Um, and after 20 years, he kind of goes free, but there's an inspector named Javert who is obsessed with Jean Valjean. And Jean Valjean tries to go and live his life and do certain things, but um, the uh, inspector Javert, no matter what, pursues him relentlessly. And all through this, the French Revolution is also happening. And so that's kind of the story of Les Mis. It was adapted into a musical, uh, I believe in the 80s, 1980. Uh, and since then, it's been one of the longest continuously running musicals. Uh, there is a production, is it still running in Seattle? On Fifth Ave, started a couple weeks ago. Um, and you can find it all across the world. Um, there was a movie about 10 years ago. The music from the, uh, the musical is so famous. Uh, I Dreamed the Dream in particular. And um, do you hear the people sing? Just a really, really popular musical. And I thought it would be a lot of fun uh, to play it with this group. So I hope you enjoy selections from Les Mis.
Thank you so much, everyone. This, uh, as you can tell, this group has worked really hard uh, to put some of this music together. Not an easy piece at all that you heard in front of you, and I really hope that you enjoyed that performance. Uh, so our next two pieces are going to feature our guest, who I will introduce in just a second. Um, but first, I want to talk about the piece. Uh, so this next piece is called Variations on a Theme of Glinka by Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. Uh, so Rimsky-Korsakov um, was one of the most important Russian composers of the late 19th century. He was a, a part of a group called the Mighty Five that sort of set the tone uh, for, uh, other than Tchaikovsky, uh, for Russian uh, classical music in that time uh, period. Uh, he's best known for uh, Scheherazade, which is a tone poem based on 1001 Arabian Nights. And it's so rare for us in the band world, in the Winon Samon band world, to play original music uh, from composers such as Rimsky-Korsakov, because most of the pieces written for Ben, like uh, you've seen in the program tonight, are from the 20th century or later. So to have an original piece for Ben, not arranged for Ben, but for Ben, by composers such as Rimsky-Korsakov is such a great uh, sort of thing to have. Um, so this piece, Variations on a Theme of Glinka, uh, Mikhail Glinka was an important Russian composer in the first part of the 19th century, and kind of like a, a role model for the generation of Rimsky-Korsakov and his peers. Uh, so you're going to hear the original theme in the oboe, and then we're going to go through a set of variations on that very beautiful theme. Uh, so next I'd like to talk about our guest artist, our guest soloist. Gunnery Sergeant Tessa Gross is uh, an oboist with the with the president's own United States Marine Corps band. Uh, she's been with the band since the end of the Bush administration, about 2008 until now. Uh, she has a bachelor's and, mas and master's degree from the Manhattan School in New York, um, and has uh, performed at the New York Opera, amongst other groups, and has had a distinguished performing and teaching career. I just wanna say I'm so delighted that we are able to uh, work with uh, artists of her caliber, and she has just been a joy uh, to work with uh, extremely easygoing and, and gracious, but as you'll hear in just a second, an incredible musician. Uh, so without further ado, please welcome to the stage from the President's own United States Marine Corps Band, Gunnery Sergeant Tessa Gross.
Uh, before we play our last piece, also featuring Gunnery Sergeant Tesla Grips, uh, I'd like to do a few acknowledgements. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, everyone here at Shortcrest High School and the Shortcrest Performing Arts Center, uh, Izzy, who's working tonight, uh, Mark McCartney, who runs the hall, uh, Vince Caruso, uh, the band director and music department head here, who let us use all this incredible percussion equipment. Uh, so thanks you for being such gracious hosts here at Shortcrest High School. I also want to thank um, all the staff, students, colleagues over at Shoreline Community College, which is where this group is from, this is where I work. Um, so I see a bunch of student workers here, including some of my very own students. So thank you so much for helping. Uh, Jisa Kang, who um, runs our office, runs our building, does everything everywhere. Uh, I set up all the recording, so thank you so much, uh, Jisa. Uh, I want to thank my colleagues. Um, I see Jeff here in the first row, uh, Matt, uh, Jensina, uh, Helena. Uh, they've been such great colleagues in this year, in my first year at Toronto Community College. And I'm not sure if he's here tonight, but I do want to especially recognize uh, Professor Doug Reed, uh, who is my colleague at Shoreline. He has been at the college for 35 years, and he's retiring in like 10 days. Uh, so can everyone give a round of applause to Doug Reed? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'd like to also acknowledge uh, Mr. Ken Lorene, longtime director of the Shoreline Concert Band uh, for about 25 years or so. Um, and he's here in attendance tonight. So thank you so much, Ken, for uh, setting up this group. Uh, and lastly, I'd like to thank uh, this group you see here in front of you, the Shoreline Concert uh, Band. Uh, so I don't know if you, you all know this, but the past couple of years, uh, us in the band and music world have run into quite a lot of difficulties with playing together, being in person, and especially playing on wind instruments where we blow into it. Uh, for a couple of years, we couldn't do it together, uh, and it was very, very difficult. Um, and so this year, I, this group, I think, didn't meet for almost two years, right, during the pandemic. And only uh, in the quarter before I got here, in the spring of last year, did they start to meet for the first time and slowly start to build up. Um, so here in my first year, we've been able to meet as a full group from the very beginning. Uh, this is my first year out of the pandemic being able to conduct a group fully live and in person. Uh, and they've come such a long way after not playing together for a couple of years. Um, I hope you hear it tonight. Like. Uh, just the difference um, in sound is astounding in the in the 30 weeks that I've worked with this group. So it's been such a privilege and a pleasure to work with the uh, fine people of the group in front of So thank you so much, Shoreline Concert Band, for being such a great group to work with. Okay, so our final piece uh, will again feature Gunnery Sergeant uh, Gross. I also want to mention that she so graciously did a master class um, for a couple high school students on Sunday. And uh, just an absolute pleasure working with her, and I hope the kids got something out of it. Just absolutely no ego. She worked with a student that had played for many years. She worked with a student that began, I think, like a month? A month before she came and did the math master class. Uh, and so just incredible to see such a world-class musician work with students of all levels and just be so welcoming and hopefully pushing the art uh, So our final piece will be a selection uh, called Gabriel's Obo from the, uh, the movie The Mission, uh, one, of the most, um, one of the most beautiful themes from uh, the famed uh, Italian movie composer Ennio Morricone. Uh, so please welcome back to the stage, Gary Sargent, Tessa Gross. <laughs> 